Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 11 on a Mac computer using an app called Parallel Desktop. Here's the look of the app. What this app does is that it acts like a virtual machine that allows you to install various operating systems on your Mac computer. It is basically just like a VMware Fusion that I've shown you before. But Parallel Desktop is more user friendly and it provides you with a lot more features. And as you can see down here, these are the operating system that it supports. You can install Windows onto your Mac or other Mac OS onto this Mac OS. Let's say you want to use Mac all Mac OS is on the same Mac computer you can do so as well you can even transfer Windows from a PC computer if you take a look down here we have all these Linux operating system you can even download Android OS using this as well but in today's tutorial, we only focused on installing Windows 11 on your Mac computer using Parallel Desktop. So we're going to stick with Windows 11 installation. And as you can see, there are two options here. We can click on Get Windows 11 from Microsoft. This is what I would recommend you to do if you only want a basic Windows 11. Just click on it. It will automatically download Windows 11 for you. If I click on Install here, so it's requesting and creating Windows 11 and start downloading it. So the size of Windows 11 is 4.87 gigabytes. But in my case, I have already downloaded Windows 11's ISO file because I do not want you to wait for the download of Windows 11. So in my case, I would click on the second option, which says install Windows or another OS from a DVD or image file. I'll click on that, click on continue. And as you can see here, it automatically recognizes my Windows 11 ISO file. I actually store it right here, there. So since it already recognized it, I do not have to do anything. I just select the one I want. Right now they have this one here and the other one down here saying Windows 11 International. I would select on this one instead. So I actually have two ISO files of Windows 11. So I select the second one, the one that's English International. But again, in your case, you just select the one that you downloaded and then you click on continue. And this one is a enter Windows license key for faster installation. In my case, this is just demonstration purposes only. I do not have the Windows license key. I just show you how to install it. And again, if you have Windows license key, just tick this and type it in and you're good to go. Next, you click on continue and it say choose Windows edition to install. So in these ISO file, they have different options for you to choose. They have Windows 11's Pro, Windows 11's Home, and so on. I select on Pro, click on Done. Here, they ask you to select the reason why you install Windows 11. So in my case, I would just say Software Testing, click on Continue. And it's a name and location. I leave it like that. I do not do anything to it. And it say create alias on Mac desktop. I don't want that. So I just leave it like that. You can even customize settings before installation by clicking here, click create. In this situation, you just select configuration of your virtual Windows computer. Like graphic, I would select it to best for Retina display. This one, they say automatic recommended to CPU 8 gigabytes of RAM. I can just select manual. For memory, I would select 16. Because my Mac memory here, I have up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So I select this one, 16. Mouse, keyboard, everything else, I leave it like that. Once everything is checked out, you just cross this. Here you can see after you customize it. Now your new configuration is CPU here that you have two, memory 16. This space is 256 gigabytes. You click on continue and you start Windows 11 installation. Okay, now you could see that the installation process starting. You just have to wait for it to finish installing Windows. As you can see here, they say installation complete. So we click on accept. Close this. So we have to connect to the internet here. So as you can see, it's very quick using Parallel Desktop. It does all the process for you. The next stage is you need to install Parallel Toolbox for Windows. Click on install now. So what it does is that with Parallels Toolbox, it helps your Windows operating system to recognize all the hardware on your Mac computer. So it's like a bridge between your Mac's hardware and your new virtual Windows operating system. 
now you're good to go if you want to make it bigger we can also enter full screen mode like so so right now you are in full screen mode just like you're using your windows 11 but actually it's a virtual machine right now so let me change the background of my windows 11 desktop here okay now it is in dark mode and now your windows 11's operating system has been successfully installed to get out of this of course you have to click on command and control to get out click on this here to exit your full screen mode so as you can see how convenient it is to use parallel desktop to install any virtual operating system especially windows 11 on your mac computer so if you're interested in parallel desktop all the links are in the description you can check it out okay that's it guys this is how you can install windows 11 on your mac computers using parallel desktop thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video